by using the PRP with the um, stem cell factors and stem cells, it reduces the inflammation and it helps regenerate those hair follicles one more time, increasing blood flow and increasing the hair density. And that is a step before, you know, having to do the hair transplant if that's, you know, what they're wanting to avoid. But it does regrow their hair, their self-confidence comes back. Um, it's pretty non-invasive. I mean, we do, you know, injections and whatnot, but it's not anything, you know, there's no cuts, there's no anesthesia. There is anesthesia, and there's, a, there's a local anesthesia, but there's nothing that they need to take, like IV or anything like that. If you had like a burn scar, or um, sometimes if the person has had chemo, uh, chemotherapy and the follicle is completely dead, I mean, there's nothing that's going to come back um, at that point. Then you're starting to think about more of a prosthetic type of, you know, um, device. But if the hair follicles are there, there is a very good chance that you can increase the density and the number of hairs coming out of that follicle. Anytime you're going to deal with anything with platelets, you would want to stop fish oil, aspirin, things like that for a certain amount of time before, unless you need it for cardiac reasons, uh, only because we want the platelets in their most natural form. We don't want them deactivated at all. So that's one of the things. If, um, if they are on vitamins, make sure that they have one that has the biotin and all the B and everything like that, and that they're eating well. Um, protein's important. <laughs> um, other than that, no. I mean, other than that, it's just, you know, avoiding anything that would inflate the life or the function of the, of the platelets. So the laser cap is one of them, so that would be a great adjunct to therapy. Um, using the right shampoos, you don't want to use anything that has um, sulfates, phthalates, things like that. Um, specifically, there are hair formulations that have salt palmetto, they have caffeine, um, they're, so they're DHT blocking types of um, shampoo and conditioners. Making sure they're on the good vitamins, sometimes we do screening labs such as making sure they're not hypothyroid, they don't have anemia um, or some sort of you know illness. Uh, for ladies, uh, sometimes we do screen again for thyroid if, or if they're menopausal, progesterone would work fabulous for that. Um, it does promote, promote the hair growth. Uh, so different things, yeah, it depends on the patient.